For Pro 2.9, we added the support of three cloud data warehouses, Google BigQuery, Snowflake, and Amazon Redshift. These three platforms are supported for database access. When you open the database connection dialog, you will notice for BigQuery, we support both user authentication using a refresh token and a service-based authentication using a service key file. Let's make a connection using key file. Once connected, user will get a list of tables they can work with. Cloud data warehouses usually have a large tables with millions of records. Those large tables are typically meant for some kind of analysis. In Pro, we support both SQL query based analysis using query layer and a spatial aggregation analysis using feature binning. Let's continue to query layer for SQL query based analysis. Let's add a new query layer. For cloud data warehouse support, we made several enhancements to this workflow to increase performance and reduce the usage cost to our users. When I switch to a cloud data warehouse connection, the UI changes. We will not automatically list the tables and columns. The metadata query to get the list of tables and columns can be a performance overhead to the UI. If the user choose to, they can check this box to get the list of tables and columns. Most cloud data warehouse users will have a predefined query for the kind of analysis they want to perform. User can paste in the query, like this example I have. I'm using the traffic data of Raleigh, North Carolina. This table has about 32 million records of traffic condition on different road segments collected over several years of time. I want to get the average speed on each road segment during the morning rush hour between 7 and 9 from the beginning of 2019. You will also notice an option to create a materialized view for the query layer. This option is designed to increase the query layer map interaction performance and to reduce usage cost for cloud data warehouse users. For BigQuery, we also provide the option to set when the materialized view will expire. Let's validate the SQL statement. and proceed to create a query layer. Now we have a query layer map based on materialized view. If we apply some symbolic to the map, we'll get a traffic map like, like this. It shows the morning rush hour traffic condition in Raleigh, North Carolina. 